horrible story of what happened to a 12-year-old girl in Paris. Uh, tell, tell us about this young lady, Ava. Yes, I woke up this morning to see the news of another a uh, young girl, European girl, who was sacrificed on the altar of mass migration. This is the case of Lola. She's 12 years old. Mm. She lives in the uh, 19th arrondissement in Paris, and she was found dead this morning in a suitcase with her throat slit open oh. and marks imprinted on her body. She was raped, uh, tortured, and then eventually killed. And we have four people in custody. Um, all migrants from, coming from Algeria, one of them uh, supposedly also an illegal immigrant in France. And she is one of many. Uh, she's obviously not the first one. There are many examples that come to mind. And apparently this happens about, uh, this is a 12th girl, I believe, in France that has been killed this year by an immigrant. Mm. And that's just France. Um, we all know that there are many more. So I, uh, I can't, I, I mean, I saw this, this poor little girl's face, and it just breaks your heart. It's horrible. No, a 12-year-old girl, and as you say, marks imprinted on her body, which suggests that when these people are, are done with her, they've finished raping her, they then harvest her body for body parts which they sell. And we've already had reports in the UK of uh, children going missing from uh, some of these so-called asylum hotels. Western governments are actively collaborating with these gangs in child sex trafficking and the sale of body parts. Why is it that you can't even, in most countries, it doesn't even make the news? It doesn't make the news because obviously these are the unwanted consequences of the policies that they are pushing. So they don't want you to know that their open border policies have these types of consequences. Uh, when we were talking about our government, but also about the World Economic Forum and about the idea of world governance, of course, wanting no borders, wanting one government, mm. government, one people is one of their main goals. So then you don't want people to know what happens when you have open borders and that the idea of one people of the of that the idea that all cultures are equal is actually not true and ends up killing the most vulnerable and the most young and the most innocent in our society but that is most definitely the case and the people who speak out about it are labeled for that same reason far right fascist but there is truth to it yeah. this doesn't this is something new that's been happening to our society and every time you hear about it there is a systematic overrepresentation of people coming from radically different cultures that do this to young girls and we have to start st speaking the truth about it Yes, we do, um, because we've lost the basic sense. People at one point used to understand, uh, you're Dutch, you know that in Belgium there's uh, historically been great differences between uh, Flemish and Walloon. Even small differences can cause long-term problems. We're actually building up our own funeral power with this crazy ape and borders stuff. Oh, yes, and absolutely. And like I said, the, the vulnerable and the young... The, our kids are the ones being sold out by the establishment first. And that is what, what you see here. And, and I just can't stand watching, seeing another photo of another young, innocent girl, no. helpless girl on my social media feed anymore. I'm tired of repeating the same words every time, saying that I'm so shocked, saying that I'm so horrified. What needs to happen is these borders need to be closed. We need to know who is coming in and we start, need to start sending people mm. who do this and people who have no business being here back. It's that simple. But as long as that does not happen, as long as we keep electing people that are part of these, these organizations, such as the World Economic Forum, that want this and that we understand that this is their plan, they want a, a brooding of our people, they want the destruction of our identity, and they want the destruction of the nation state, then nothing will change. Well, you said it, Ava, that we're sacrificing our young girls on the altar of diversity. It's a terrible thing, it's an evil thing, and we should stop doing it.